All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are here at my backyard at what I'm calling the shade area. I, I believe I have called it the shade area before, um, but I'm bringing you guys to the shade area, the new remodel shade area, right? As you guys can remember, you guys remember that was um, the orchids. I've only had orchids because I was just taking care of them. But I recently started uh, purchasing, acquiring some houseplants, some shade houseplants. Mainly, uh, I have alocasias, I have colocasias, I have syngoniums. Um, there are some mosteras that were here already a while ago and some other plants. But let me show you guys the second part to the video that you guys saw. My new addiction is house plants, right? Um, let me turn you guys around and let me show you guys what my new addiction consists of. And I'm gonna start over there on that side. You guys can see over there. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys starting that way, this way. And then after that, I'll show you guys the other new shade area that I'm that I have and then I'm gonna show you guys the new project that I'm gonna make all right sounds like sounds fair sounds like a deal let's go all right well we are gonna start the shade area um, over here so these are if I'm not mistaken plum um, Mexican plum trees I don't know if you guys know them. I call them ciruelas, but they either plum or hog plum. I can't remember the name, but it starts from here. That is my whole irrigation setup that I had. Um, I had these in the background in pots, but they were leaning against that wall. And I kind of didn't want that to happen anymore, right? Oh, there you go. Um, actually, uh, sorry i apologize i'll leave you guys right there um so i have one two three i'm leaving that one in the pot just because they were too big already and i didn't want them to completely die right i have two different varieties i have a red one and then i have a yellow one so the idea in the future is that i will have this will branch out eventually and then i will have more shade half shade plants down there correct so then we come here and i don't know if i've shown you guys but this is my huge uh um, plant and my sh my huge uh avocado plant trees you know and so then we come into the shade area which is it's a little extended more over the edge that i used to have it i extended it about three more feet so i mulched heavily i most thick i always do um and so this is the shade area where i am gonna have mother plants and i am gonna have plants that are gonna, gonna go in the ground right um i did a little more research and unfortunately oh okay sorry um i believe my headphone lost connection and uh it just didn't want to work anymore but where i was Okay, I did some research. I was going to some uh, to some places. The, the guy that is selling, he told me that it is best to keep them in pots because if they feel cram, if they feel tight, they will be shooting out what is called the little pups. Uh, mainly for these, the ones that do shoot out pups, that's what he recommended to leave these um in pots obviously these are gonna get stepped up to maybe a few of those bigger ones you know you always have to reuse um the pots that you have there which i am right i i am gonna remove a couple of these a couple of these remove them plant some in the ground uh and then leave some for mother plants right so let's go around let me show you what I have. Let's start with our brand new batch of plants. We have the teacup um, colocasia, I believe. Uh, yes, it's a teacup colocasia. This is um, Pharaoh's mask, which he did tell me that 
this is a patented um it's a patented uh plant so i got that one for free basically and then we have the mojito that i already showed you guys in the video before we have the high low beauty i bought these specifically just to put them here so i have the ones in my apartment but i also have these here that are gonna stay um i was able i was able to get uh some alocasia i don't know the name of that one and then i these are from my these are from my own collection all right uh try number two again because i believe my headphone keeps disconnecting whatever um this is a black stem alocasia just like that one i just borrowed it from over there because those elephant ear black stem alocasia um for some reason my theory is that uh during this during the winter that huge winter storm that we had during christmas it actually damaged their bulb kind of damaged but they went semi-dormant and it took them a while to get back to the, where they were uh, i say that because we had a lot of rain and humidity heat and it took them a long time to get even to that size of a leaf trust me when i tell you that that leaf gets humongous it gets humongous but for some reason it took them a while a while uh monstera brand new leaf it just completely opened uh and then over here we have an alocasia mycorrhiza uh variegated or variegata uh this one is an alocasia dragons uh i want to say dragon's breath but i might be wrong um i will this time i will actually put the names of them up on the little screen um a monstera esqueleto i believe it didn't have any name but i believe that is the monstera esqueleto and i bought that one so there's that one unfortunately that one behind the monstera deliciosa it got burnt i got this one right there that's another monstera esqueleto and then um monstera and then we have another monstera so these three they were in a pot smaller than that i think it was that pot right there um kind of saved it i didn't technically quote unquote save it i just put it in the ground so it could be happier right all right and if us uh, we just got a huge rain gust right now um i apologize if there is a lot of wind right but this one's another one alocasia mycorrhiza verrigata uh i don't know what this is i want to say that it's a a monstera but that one's a surprise right ah, right there that one's kind of a surprise i don't know what it is and then you guys have seen our um orchid area okay well uh i believe that there's a storm coming so i'm gonna try to hurry up these i don't know what i don't remember the name of them but i bought these at lowe's and i was like eh, whatever you know i'll just plant it there so it came with like different bulbs and i think it was four or five there was one there there's one right there and there is one oh right there hiding behind the monstera deliciosa right there uh and then so we go oh also this one i bought it at lowe's it was black before for some reason it came out white now well green right um from there from that one we come to one of my precious plants this is an a syngonium uh syngonium what oh my brain is failing me now whatever i'll put the name up here i totally forgot what the name was and then right after the syngonium, we have here the black stem alocasia where I got all the little pups from. We have two, four, six, six um, pups still from here, but slowly but surely I'm grabbing them and putting them back over here because this is where they started, right? They started about here and like they moved all the way over there. But uh let me go show you oh 
I actually, my sister-in-law has a Hoya there. Let me take you around this way. My sister-in-law has a Hoya here. It's a green Hoya, nice. Uh, I can't show you the, it's not in bloom, so I can't show you the flowers right now. Let me take you over to the other area. Oh, sorry, before I take you to the other area, you might, you might be wondering what the hell is going back there? I used to have papaya, um, uh, banana trees. They weren't doing anything. They're just tall for nothing. So if a plant is not doing anything for me, I'm gonna cut it down. So it's being cut down right now. But you know, banana plants are very hardy, hard to kill. So you have to literally poke the middle for it to die. So that's what's happening back there right now. All right, guys. Well, this part I had to totally redo just because on the last, well, the other day, um, I didn't realize that the wind was actually super bad and I thought the video was going to be okay, but apparently it's not okay. So I had to redo this section. So this is the other shade area just because there is two palms here. The shade, the shade and the house perimeter reaches all the way over there. So I'm going to try to utilize everything basically out here. I'm gonna try to put more alocasias, more plants that are able to sustain or withhold a little more of that sun, a little more of the heat, uh, just because something like a Syngonium is not gonna do good out here, right? So I have, again, I have an alocasia, the black stem. Uh, this leaf was not here when I recorded it. It literally came out three days after. Um, then right here we have a Syngonium. That is the pot that it was in. I bought that plant for $10. I was surprised when the lady told me $10 for that Syngonium. Um, but this is the bush that I have. I'm not gonna start cutting this one until it's a little more established. It's only been there for about a week. Actually, no, it's been there for two weeks to maybe about the third or about the month. I'm gonna start chopping it up and spreading it around, right? And then I was, this is from the same batch um, from the back. This is, this is the Monstera Arasani. Um, I did have two of them. That one, the leaves burned out, but it did came back out. And then this one survived. Uh, the thing that I've noticed about this one is that it pops out super fast. So maybe in a month, it'll have much growth. But this is the, the other shade area and i think you guys will see the rest of the video from now on okay well last but not least um the future project right what's gonna happen what's gonna happen here at the house behind so um if you guys remember there used to be a she shed right i'm gonna point you guys like this there used to be a she shed right there so the idea is that i'm gonna clean all this out clean all all the way to the first bed of the mint all the way to about where that part is right wait wait there all right so basically the idea is to clear this whole section out and then eventually put a shade head shade house right here right um I don't know how that's gonna work. That is a big project. That is maybe the beginning of next year project. Maybe not. Depending on how many plants I could keep getting, how many pups I can keep getting. Um, but I need to start, I need to get started on that. I need to get started on the rest of the garden, which tomorrow I'm gonna try to go get some more dirt. Sorry, not their compost um, to now fully, fully, fully remove everything. It is almost August. I said in my other garden video, I haven't done a July update, which I might just do an August update, um, that I was gonna clear that out, but there's, sometimes there's no time. Sometimes it's very hot. For the past three to four weeks, for the past about month, we've had just heat wave after heat wave and it's too hot to work out here so that's been put in the back burner the house plants have been put in the front so let me get
to working because I need to clear this whole thing out by today. But with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this new journey, this new videos that I'm going to start putting out. House plants, propagation. Um, I'm going to try different things. So come along in the journey, guys. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit like. Let me know what kind of house plants do you guys have, whether inside or outside. I would love to know. And if you have either a Monstera Thai constellation or a Monstera uh, Albo or what is another one? Oh, the Syngonium that is not white, not Albo, but Syngonium, the yellow splash. Let me know in the comments and just, you know, show it off. Uh, that is three of my future plants that I really do want to get. So with that being said, guys, uh, don't forget plant responsibly, buy and take care of plants responsibly. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.